so hi friends welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to add trusted Hyper-V host in a virtual machine manager what does mean is trusted trusted mean the machine the Hyper-V host that is added to our domain like I have a one machine Hyper-V host that is uh, join my uh, join to my domain it it is a trusted host so so let's have some idea about my demo environment in my demo environment I am using three virtual machine to to give you the uh, a scenario in which we are going to add the trusted host so and um, first of all we have a one domain controller that the m the domain controller name is win2k16dc01 where I have installed Active Directory and DNS role let's just check out and uh, this is my domain controller you can see I have installed ADDS and DNS role and if you like, go to local server this is my domain name vectorinfosol.com this is my domain name vectorinfosol.com you can see and my IP address of the server and I am going to use all the three virtual machine with the operating system Microsoft Windows Server Microsoft Windows Server 2016 technical preview 3 so check out my second server and my second server is VMM 2016 I have assigned 4 GB RAM and I have just installed SCVMM SCVMM system center virtual machine manager 2016 so this is my VMM uh, 2016 machine and you can see I have installed the virtual machine manager console and the virtual machine manager server both things on the server and the third one is my fresh installed machine I have just done basic configuration on the machine uh, I have renamed the host with the name Hyper-V01 and I have joined the machine to my domain and enable the file and printer sharing that's all this is the machine and this is our Hyper-V host that is joined to our domain and if you want to check out the file and printer sharing option I have enabled file and file sharing through the group policy by using my domain controller so we'll just check out you can verify from like computer configuration administrative templates and extra registries here you can see I have created a GPO with the name of share shared permissions where I am allowing the firewall rules for like file and printer sharing and VMI settings these things so this is the scenario all about so further I am going to connect to my virtual machine manager on the VMM server and we here we are virtual machine manager console I am going to click on fabric and under my all servers I am able to find only my uh, VMM, uh, uh, VMM server so I am going to click on add resource Hyper-V host and cluster and as I told you Windows Server Computer in a trusted Active Directory domain so this machine is under the trusted Active Directory my domain my domain so I am going to select the first option click next and use an existing run as account so I am going to create one running run as account the name of the account my VMM admin and the username is my domain name account name is Hyper-V admin and I am going to put my password here click finish so password does not match one more time I'm going to put it it's 
so we have added the account and I'm going to click OK and next and here we need to put our server name before putting here I'm going to check my server is accessible from here like the share for the shares so the yes we are able to access the shares so we are good to go and I'm going to click on next oops just refresh it and here we are on the server need to select the server and click next and this is giving a message Hyper-V role is not enabled on server then it uh, the wizard going to install the Hyper-V role and it's required reboot also so perfectly fine there was no issues click OK and next and here's our settings that we are going to do and click finish and once we click on finish the job window is open and here we can see the all jobs currently it's installing the hype virtual machine manager agent on our server so if I go to control panel and program and features you can see here is four things are installed four applications are installed and after a few minutes we are able to find the system center virtual machine manager agent here so once the installation is finished for the uh, like agent so I'm pausing the recording for a few minutes so the installation of agent has been completed and we can verify from here I'm going to refresh it so here we are we are able to find Microsoft system center virtual machine manager agent so for now it's installing enabling the Hyper-V role and you can see the server is reported automatically by the VMM job so it will take few minutes to uh, like reboots uh, uh, during the Hyper-V installation server reboots two times so it will take few minutes to like enable like install Hyper-V so I am going to pause my recording for till the server is rebooted and the law and uh, and we are on the login screen of the server so just pausing the recording so you can see hyper v role is installed on our server and if I go to my VMM you can verify enable hyper v is completed and install SCVM switch port settings is also completed so it will take few more seconds a uh, few more minute actually to complete the adding virtual machine host to a uh, VMM so let's just wait for few minutes you can see it's almost done it's 99 percent completed so it will take few more seconds so finally the host is added successfully with the some warning like multipath is not enabled in our server so it's okay perfectly there was no problem so if I go to like all host we can verify our host here the host name status is okay and the role is host hyper v host and the cpu average memory available memory everything so so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and keep watching thanks once again